We are joined today by Eleanor Anberg, President of Small Tech Innovation. Welcome, Eleanor. First of all, could you tell us briefly about your background before joining Small Tech? Um, I have a, an engineering background in robotics, and I also did a PhD in the area of business strategy around uh, radical innovations and technological, big technological changes. Uh, I've spent all my career in creating growth, like in uh, innovations, acquisitions, sales, business development. Uh, many years I spent as uh, head of strategy at one of the divisions of SKF, but I've also been running a incubator. I've worked as a strategy consultant, sales director, business unit head. And also, of course, I was a scientist at Chalmers uh, University of Technology. And uh, I mean, my passion really is about taking a good idea and bringing it to a, um, a successful business. And I've done that a number of times before. And as president of Small Tech Innovation, you're responsible for developing Small Tech's high performing nanofiber based cell material for electrolyzers that are used in green hydrogen gas production. And why did Smalltech choose to focus on this area? The green hydrogen market will grow tr tremendously in the future. And with our technology, we can make the hydrogen much cheaper. And uh, I mean, as an example, uh, all the fertilizers that are used in the agriculture, they are today made from uh, natural oil. And in the future, they can instead be made from green hydrogen and will be made from green hydrogen. So I think you can see a simple example how large it will be. And then we have also all the new areas, like we hear a lot about green steel, which means that in the future, or well, it's already ongoing, uh, hydrogen will be used instead of fossil fuels when making steel. Uh, we see a number of examples in Sweden and also in other countries. Uh, another area is uh, in the marine sector where it's called synthetic fuels that will be made from hydrogen uh, will be used instead of oil when transporting uh, long distances uh, at the sea. I mean, you cannot put a battery in a container ship. Uh, then also we have these uh, examples of electric vehicles, sometimes it's not uh, suitable to run them on batteries. So then you instead use fuel cells and uh, fuel up with uh, hydrogen. And also one very important area is renewable energy to store and to transport renewable energy like wind and solar uh, long distances. And as an example, the uh, Arab countries today are already building very large solar, uh, solar parks out in the deserts and they will use the existing uh, infrastructure of pipelines and then ship this to the countries that today buy all their oil from them instead. So I think all in all, I think this uh, explains why this market will be so very large in the future. And our technology can really support making the production of hydrogen much cheaper. Uh, could you give us an overview of the electrolyzer market and also the specific market segment that uh, you are targeting? Yes, uh, first of all, electrolyzer. I don't think everyone knows what that is, but that is the equipment, the system that is used to transform electricity into hydrogen. And uh, the electrolyzer market today it globally is around 4 billion sec and 2030 it is expected to be 500 billion sec. So we see a new industry sector very fast uh, getting established uh, and increasing in capacity both in Europe and, and globally. Um, uh, and 
as a part of that, we think that roughly, if we talk about 2030, uh, our uh, total addressable market is around 50 billion sec. I think I also should mention that it's not only to reduce the amount of uh, uh, greenhouse gases that, that makes uh, this, uh, the area now of green hydrogen extra important. Uh, a few weeks ago, the European Commission uh, launched a very uh, ambitious plan to reduce oil and gas in Europe. Uh, and that is for because of the unstable situation in, in Europe. And they, for instance, they, they have put in place very large investment funds to build up the hydrogen industry in Europe, including electrolyzers and technology around that. What would you say are the concrete benefits of using small text cell material compared to conventional technology? Yeah, there are two very specific uh, benefits. The first is that we reduce the amount of an extremely expensive metal, iridium, that is used when you manufacture uh, an electrolyzer. The cost of uh, iridium is around 2 million sec for one kilo. And we believe that our target is to definitely reduce that amount by 80%, but probably more, more than that. So that is one big benefit. Another thing is that with the fibers we have, with this uh, 3D structure of the fibers, we can actually uh, make the electrolysis much smaller because we managed to get much more active area in one electrolyzer than what is possible with the current, uh, current technology. So all in all, uh, much less iridium, smaller electrolyzers, and that gives lower production cost of green hydrogen. Could you give us a practical example of these benefits? For instance, take a wind park a few windmills out, sea, out of the sea. The capacity might be around uh, 30 megawatts. And to build an electrolyzer for that capacity with traditional technology costs around 900 million sec. And uh, as we claim that we might even reach one third in size, that will mean only 300 million sec for that wind park. So compared to 900. So I think that is a very big and important uh, advantage. So how can your nanofiber technology provide such major improvements? There are actually two different uh, things. The, the first is that with our nanofibers, they have a 3D structure, which means that the active surface become, becomes much larger inside the membrane. Um, so that is one thing. And the other thing is that uh, in conventional technology, the uh, nanoparticles, the, uh, the uh, iridium particles, they are mixed into an ink. So most of the particles actually don't hit the surface and therefore they are not in contact with the membrane. But uh, so it's only the one who are in contact with the membrane that are useful, you can say. Um, with our technology, all the particles are put directly on the surface instead. So all expensive particles are being used. So we don't need the big amount that are hidden in the ink, which is the case for uh, the tra traditional technology. And uh, do you see any competitors in, in these fields? And if so, what would you say are small tech's unique selling points compared to those companies? Well, there are a number of others who are also trying to reduce the amount of iridium. 
but when it comes to this, making the electrolysis much smaller and more powerful, we don't see anyone else in that area. And I mean, we are the first one using nanotechnology in electrolysis, and we have a wide range of patent protection we have applied for that, which will be a strong competitive advantage for us. And, and what is your overall plan to take this cell material to market? We are at the moment developing a number of demonstrators that will be uh, th that are uh, electrolyzer cells that we can test and uh, verify our technology. That we do together with a number of research organizations, and we also work with a global manufacturer of input material for uh, electrolyzer for electrolyzers. And when we have done that, we move on to making a prototype that we will try, we will use that in real electrolyzers together with the commercial partner. And then the next step is uh, building a pilot plant that we later can scale up. So this new collaboration with the manufacturer that will enable you to complete a fully functional electrolyzer cell with your material before the end of the year. Yeah, we're actually only a few months from having a full working electrolyzer cell that we can measure on, I mean, in action. So uh, for us, this is really an important milestone. And finally, if these demonstrators work as intended, when do you expect to sign an agreement with a commercial partner? I mean, this is a stepwise approach. So first thing is that next year we build a prototype together with the commercial partner and uh, verify that it works in their electrolyzer. And when we have done that, uh, we will agree in a commercial agreement that we build a, a pilot plan and also that they move on to build the next uh, generation of electrolyzers based on our technology. Uh, the pilot plant and will be used to test that their product is uh, meeting all specifications and at the same time also we use the pilot plant to fine-tune our manufacturing and then we go full scale. Uh, do you have any final thoughts that you would like to share on this exciting business area? Well I think we are very happy actually that we have found such an attractive application for small text technology for this uh, very fast growing market. I mean, I would say we have kind of a killer application at the right time when the hydrogen market really is booming. I, I think this will be very big. Thank you very much, Eleanor. Thank you.